I just wanted to make a video today about how to make flowers and stuff just in light burn quite easily. There's just a couple of examples there, but you could basically do it, you know, any way you want, just depending what shape you use. So I'm just going to show how I've done them. You're best to start with the rectangular polygon and drag it out. It don't really matter the size because you can resize this afterwards. And then what I did was took it down to three sides and stretched this top up. Uh, right click and convert it to a path and then with the node editing tool if you press uh, S on the corners it'll give you something like that and then with my one there I stretch this bottom down like this so okay I'm going to make that a little bit smaller because that was a bit too big and then all you have to do is make a circle I'm going to put that on a different colour just so we can see. And then what you have to do is select the outside one first because you're telling Lightburn I want this one to go around this one. And then you use the circle array tool and now you could, you know, make as many duplicates as you want. It, it, you can make some nice patterns. Uh, really you want this at 360 because that's a full circle and then yeah you just choose how many copies you want I mean just some simple flowers you know six or seven copies is plenty so now you've got the full circle of them I'm going to shrink this down I mean you could just you know shrink this down so it fits in the middle this one Sometimes it because I said 360 it's gone from the top and it's background on the top. That's why this one's clear if I delete that Now because there was one on top of the other it cancels out the fill and now I could mess with you know You can just mess with the size of these I think if I group it and bring it up here I'm gonna Make the center of it a bit smaller and click that and click the outside and then say everything out the outside that will take that center out in a circle if you wanted it you know if you wanted your a gap between an even gap and then for the stem all I did was just took this line and if you click and hold you can get a bit of a bend in it so and then I just finished off at the bottom like that and then select it and go to the offset tool and now offset it as thick as you want it I'll just say there for a minute say OK move this out of the way and delete the original line I think that's an option when you're offsetting it that you can delete that but I forgot to and then if you wanted to really finish it off you can just you know drag this up and then press I to insert another node and it, you know and that way you could have the stem go all the way up another way to do these leaves is I mean if you're not bad at the drawing is to just you know you can drag these out I'm not great at drawing that's why I used the triangle but you know like I mean you could just do that with the pen tool, draw out any shape and make that go around the circle. But yeah, I mean that's roughly how you do it. You could do the same with leaves. But yeah, you can do a lot of things with that. I'm just quickly going to show a gear hob how you could do that. I mean you make it whatever size you want it. Put it just wherever. Or just so it's crossing the inside. And then you want this around the circle. So you say, you have to, that's the way I work it out is I want this square around this circle because you'll see if I do it the other way if you say I want this circle around this square and click it you see now the circles have gone around so you've got to do it that way that is going to go around that yep and then you just make your copies then you can go over the whole lot and weld it together and then if you want to just a center circle you just make your circle and click this outside and just say center and there you've got your circle so yeah 
I just wanted to show that because it is handy. There's quite a few things you can make with it, really. I mean, with the grass here, I just use the normal, like a ray tool. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and hopefully, give someone an idea to do something. And please like and subscribe, and I'll add another video as soon as possible.